We've engineered Blade 2.0 to enable directors, performers, creative decision makers to focus on performance and story like never before. Our new real time of Blade 2.0 helps us deliver that simply because directors and performers are able to make informed creative decisions based on the real time performance they're seeing in Blade. But these new real time capabilities are just the first example of a completely new platform we've been developing. And by delivering robustness in the real time, as well as scalability through distributed processing, it will open the system up. But that's not the end of the story. What, moving forward, we're going to do with this is to help to narrow the gap between a motion capture shoot and any other movie shoot. Stories can be really difficult to tell, from the moment you write them to the treatments, the concepts, to the storyboards, where you really want to execute on that story is on the mocap stage. How about if she loses her sword and she, her, her first is she takes that, you come in and it's and then she comes in without unarmed and she's up in her face like that. There's a lot of different kinds of things that you have to get in a given day. Now, specifically with Blade 2.0, it allows you to tell the story that you wanted to tell, not having to worry about getting in close, of having the actors being physical with one another, of having big scenes with one another, or having the most minute or significant motions that you really want to capture. It allows the director and the actor to work on a really fluid basis. I can jump on the stage with them and really work through the, exactly where I want them to hit their beats while they're doing it, in the middle of their performance. That ability is extraordinary. The idea that the technology is not going to get in the way of you trying to tell a story as if you're just in a room just walking and working with your actors is invaluable. The workflow in Blade 2.0 really helps me get things done quicker because it's all right there, it's in my face, and it's so self-explanatory. You can have all your actors in one scene, and just with a few clicks of the button, you'll have all those characters calibrated, solved, and ready to go. And the great part about it is that you can actually use your production skeleton. The increased robustness is fantastic. In the past, when like a mark would be occluded or uh, be completely ripped off, you could see it actually happen within real time. I'm gonna peel markers off you and throw them on Richard. Okay. Cool? Yes. But now, with Blade 2.0 and the solve, it's invisible. You won't even see it happen. You don't actually have to reset IDs anymore. It just does it by itself. With Blade 2.0, it cuts our setup time in half and just keeps the day going. We are looking at getting some of the most beautiful real time I've ever seen. And at the same time, we're getting the strength of the back end that comes off of our T160 camera. So now we've got the best of both worlds. And action. You save time and efficiency on your end product by getting it right up front. Now we've got Blade, which is an entertainment-based package, and it's allowing us to get the most biomechanically accurate solves you can get. We're helping people tell their stories, but then we're also helping people deliver the product at the end of the day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that everybody, right, is efficient so directors can come on stage and they can tell their story then they can leave and when all of this data flows through to the production team the production team is going to be incredibly efficient as well the emphasis becomes creative and it's not that we are trying to define the future of motion capture what we are trying to do is enable our users to define the future of motion capture